Agnes Nixon was so ahead of her time. We would call Agnes the good witch because she would write storyline before it was even in the headlines. The legal abortion, of course, had been in, uh, in the consciousness for a while and in the courts, but Erica had the first legal abortion on television, to my understanding. I believe that that's true. And um, I grew up Roman Catholic, and I, I remember at the time going to confession and going to say my penance in a pew, and there were two people sitting at the other end of the pew, but one, one aisle in front, one set of pews in front, and they saw me, and they were just scandalized. They said, ah, oh, there she is, oh, she's praying, oh, that's horrible. And they were talking kind of stage whispers. I mean, I could definitely hear them. I think they wanted me to hear it. But um, it was a time where people took, uh, there weren't as many interview situations. They, you know, they didn't necessarily separate the actor from the character or the storyline that they were playing, so they were outraged. And, um, and people would stop me in elevators in Manhattan in buildings and buildings and talk to me about it. It's also um, a practice for, for actors to talk about their characters in the first person. So sometimes I'd be in an elevator with other actors and we'd be saying, well, then I had the abortion and then, and you could just see people <laughs> <laughs> you know, who didn't realize it was part of the show. Was there any trepidation about introducing that storyline? Not, f not from my point of view. I didn't feel any trepidation. I, I don't know what Agnes had to go through to, to um, get it on the air. I don't know that part. But for me, no, it seemed, it seemed quite right, what she was writing and trying to accomplish.